Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a long week, ain't it? Had a question from one of my subscribers. Well, actually, wanting to know replacing these seals that are leaking versus just putting the regular style filter on it without this adapter. Now, if it was me and you had the room, I don't know if he does on this YJ, we'll see. But I wouldn't run this if I didn't have to. But there should be a bypass either in here or in the block. I'm gonna take and uh, clean this up. We'll take this off and see if there's an, the parts are here to mod it, to put that style filter on it without buying anything. So uh, let me get it cleaned up and get drain pan under it. We'll take it off and see what we got. Hand tight, Damien. Let me get another wrench. Never mess with this because the Cherokees I've had don't have this. It's a T60. T60. see any kind of bypass or anything. Screw that out. See if it'll screw in the block. Pause you want to go get a socket for that. I'm sorry I don't remember who asked me. I could look back I guess but that's your through bolt with your O-rings. We're gonna screw out the oil filter adapter see if it screws in the block I'm pull this seal ring out, see if it fits our block. I know it does, it's seated good, but just to make sure, double check it. And I do see a reason not to run that. Yeah, that'll work. That's what I would do. 
instead of having an o-ring here that could blow and one in here that could blow you screw the adapter out of the old fit the old filter mount the old filter adapter screws right in the block that's the same then you can use Five. Look how small. Then you got a straight shot the oil filter. See down in there? See how small that is? That that hole. The oil's got to travel through here, through that tiny hole, and then around the filter. Wait, I just told you that wrong. Yeah. That's your exit. That's right. Comes there right up around the outside of the paper, then back down through the center. See how small the oil hole is? I would think that's too little. Let's take that out of there and look at it. Yeah, that's about right. All that's for is to transfer, I mean, to, to angle your filter. If you don't need an angle filter, then there's no, no reason to run that. And then you're not squeezing your oil. Through that little hole. There is two of them. It's adequate, I'm sure. You know, it's as big as that. If you, That's even smaller. Hell, that is like a restriction. Glad we looked at that. The oil's coming out of here around the outside of the paper and then feeding it back down through the center through a hole that big instead of a hole that big. So I would think if you don't need this, I'd get rid of it. There's no kind of bypass. It must be built into here or something, but they. Most of your V8 Chevrolets and Fords back in the day had a bypass that screwed down in here. So if your oil pr filter pressure got too high, like you got it stopped up, it would let it bypass and go back straight through instead of uh, ruining your, blowing the filter. That's probably what that is right there. That's probably the bypass. I don't know. I'd have to take the oil pump out to see. But it, that will work though. I think it'd be a good deal if you can fit it because look how much more oil capacity it's got <laughs> and then you ain't got to worry about that o-ring or that o-ring going bad or the one that seals it to the block then all you got to do is worry about the one on the filter so you do away with three o-rings and have a bigger filter and a larger diameter feed to the engine. So I think that'd be a, the way to go. I don't know why they put that on there. I guess probably ease of putting the motor in or something. I guess some Jeeps have to have that to angle it out of the way of stuff. Mine don't. Yeah, that's your bypass right there. That's the bypass right there. Filter pressure gets too high, it starts feeding it in there. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. I did take the head on apart on this thing. I don't know if I told y'all that or not, but the valves are screwed too. He did a number on this thing. Just the intake, wonder why? Because it sucked in mud. This is what you should hear when you take it a valve out of a head. You put your finger over the back side right here where the seat where the uh, valve seals at and you should hear you should hear you should hear that. See how shiny that one is? Exhaust side and how cut up and grit up that is. There's a groove right there. Damien still ain't let me know what he wants to do with this thing. 
Yes, it will eventually. We'll push it outside. I'm telling him to come, tell him to come get it. Get it out of my way. Look at my shop, man. It is ruined. Got this. Borrowed this from a buddy of mine. Might be buying me a kayak. I just want to try it out first, though. Oh, I got the shifter coming. It should be here. I don't know. It shipped yesterday. It should be here in a few days. So we have a video on that. But anyway, I had a subscriber. I'm sorry, guy. I don't remember your name. I don't want to look back. I don't got time to look all back through it and find it. But he's wanting to know if you could, what it would take to reseal that versus just swapping it. Well, all the parts is right there in your, in that um, adapter. You just take it out, screw it in here, and it should give you more oil flow. <laughs> and it doesn't do anything. All it does is make everything go 90 degrees. There ain't nothing special about it. It just makes the oil go through the filter at a 90 degree angle instead of straight in. So if it'll fit, I'd say do it. You might want to put um, this here. Just make sure that's good and clean before you screw it in there. Then tighten it down. You, know, you ain't got to try to break it or nothing, but tighten it down decently tight. I wouldn't put anything on it like thread tape or silicone or block tight or none of that shit because if a piece of it breaks off, going straight in the motor so just leave it clean and just tighten it right there you're only going to screw your filter on hand tight anyway if it ever comes out on you just screw it out of the filter and screw it back in there but it should and i just did this one hand tight and the filter didn't pull it back off so but just put it in there like that give a little uh, just a little bit of a uh, and then uh put your filter on there if mine was leaking that's what i'd do because it's free just go buy this filter And it's, there you go, change your oil, move all that stuff out of the way. And that takes, uh, what I say, 60. T60, take that off with. And you have a bigger diameter filter. But all right, guys, I guess that's it, man. Sorry to make a video all week, but work's been uh, pretty hectic. I drove about, well, I drove a whole tank of gas out of my van today. I started at 5.30 this morning. I got home at 5.30, so it's been that way all week. I think the next video we uh putting that shifter in. I'll set it up and do it like I did this on the shifter. I'll find somewhere to set the camera up in there and we'll just do the job. You know, see how to wire it up and I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the transmission control module in there, put it on a switch where I ain't got to shift it all the time. That's probably being lazy. I'll just hook it up manual. I'm a big boy. I like shifting gears anyway. See here? See that? <laughs> when I drag race, I always drag uh, stick shifts. Trimex. Broke them too. Anyway, guys, y'all have a good one. And uh, we'll holler at you later. I'm going to go in the house. I ain't even been in yet. <laughs> the wife always loves it when you do that. You come home from work and you go straight into the shop. Tomorrow i got to clean this damn mess up. Y'all take it easy. We'll holler at you later. Bye.